I'm Kyle with iFixit, and we're here at the Slow Maker Fair, where there are all sorts of exciting things going on. Maker Fair is very important uh, as a celebration of the making spirit, and I fix it. it's a part of it because we're helping people to sustain what they have. And it's kind of a maker type attitude to have uh, as far as repair being related to making and uh, keeping things going as long as possible. Um, at the booth today we've got lots of different activities. We're having some cell phone teardowns, so doing component hunts and scavenger hunts inside of a cell phone. We also have a puzzle for matching screws and we're giving away some fun prizes and some self-repair manifestos. Giving kids permission to play, to say it's okay to get inside to learn how this technology works, opens up an entire world of, of possibilities. This whole thing is just an absolute blast. People are so excited about taking things apart, tinkering, all the stuff that they've made. I mean, this is the largest show and tell I've ever seen in this area. There's a guy just down the street from my house who has an anvil in a blacksmith shop where he makes his own knives. So it's really cool to have a single event and get everybody here so we can all share and cross-pollinate ideas. I think that it's important for iFixit to be involved with events like Maker Faire and specifically Maker Faire because it's building on the DIY community that is so close to us. We're built on DIY and making and tearing things apart and repair are all essentially the same thing, just in different phases. iFixit's mission is to teach everyone everywhere how to fix everything. But the absolute best way to learn how to do something is to sit down and take it apart yourself. I think one of the greatest things about having an event like this is that it makes technology and tinkering accessible so that people from all around the area who maybe are just walking around downtown can come and see it and learn and be exposed to new ideas that they would have never seen in their normal lives. iFix is really excited to be a part of Maker Faire and supporting backyard inventors. I think it's absolutely critical that we get back to a culture where people are able to make and modify and repair their own products. We've become afraid, advertisers have convinced us that the only way to have something is to go to a store and buy it. And that's just not, not the case. We can make our own things, we can mend them, and we can keep them running uh, for, for much, much longer than any corporation would ever want us to.